Greetings everybody and welcome back to Rebuilding the Commonwealth with myself. Hello, so we are back at Jamaica Plains as you can see. Uh, thank you to everybody who left their comments for uh, soldier names in the last uh, episode. Uh, I have actually made a notepad beside me so I have all of those listed and I will be putting those in so thank you very much for that. Uh, I've received some fantastic suggestions for a few people for the basement of Jamaica Plains. I won't mention what they are, not yet, because hopefully there'll be a surprise, but at uh, some point. <laughs> um, as you guys know, like, comment, subscribe, that really helps me out, so uh, please make sure you do those. I'm not going to bore you with the rest. Uh, also, uh, looking for potentially someone who can do some thumbnails for the videos uh if you got like a fiver or something i'm happy to you know, i'm not going to expect you to do it for free let's put it that way not that finances are amazing at the moment but hey uh we'll we'll see what happens so here at jamaica plains uh, you can see that these guards have their guns out which is fantastic because i installed a new mod with these invisible guard mats with their weapons drawn. So they'll actually stand here with their weapons out rather than just stand there with a finger blaster <laughs> in their uh, you know, in their hand there, just holding two fingers like they're gonna shoot you with their hands, like a bunch of kids. So that's fun. But uh, we have a bit of a main street project to do today. Uh, we've got all this terraced housing up. Uh, you'll probably notice I now have a mod to expand the sandbox, so thank you for your insights on that one. I'm sure I've probably already said that, hey? So yeah, my settlers will now actually come up this way, and I believe, let me just double check. Yep, there you go, vault Tech Rep actually comes to his shop now. So yes, thank you very much for your insights on uh, the sandbox. I wouldn't have figured that out without you guys, so I appreciate that. I just installed a sandbox extender, and that works. It will mean finding my settlers will be a bit of a ball ache, but beggars can't be choosers, everything's got a downside. But, the main street project, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So, let's go to landscaping under snappy builds. Now, let's just put something down just to see, just to get a gauge of the heights here. So let's just put down some grass blocks to gauge how tall this will be. Uh, that's the one I want. So if I'm going to put this down, it will be here. Right. I say this is not permanent. This is just me gauging the height and what it's going to mean for the other side of the street. Okay. So it's just a little bit, a little bit high here. That's fine. Um, I think we could make this work. So let me lower this down to the height of the windows. Okay, so that is our benchmark height here. Now, if we extend this uh, up towards the top of the main street, where does this leave us? Okay. That probably won't work in that case. It's going to have to be a fair bit higher. Like, up here kind of higher. like this height higher. So let's just gauge that very quickly. Because it could be this hotel has to lose a doorway. Or 
we have to build round the doorway. Either one is fine. Okay, so if I put this in, how high would this come up to? You know what? That's not bad. I mean, we can block out the bottom of the window to get this height. So that is A-OK. -okay. Because my main concern is this really dumb piece of uh, road here, which looks really unsightly, really ungodlike. Okay, so how are we going to cover this? Well, let's go to the curbs and we'll put in a nice long curb. Like that. Yeah, I appreciate this is probably not going to be centre because I've just placed this willy-nilly like that. Yeah, that is completely off. Okay, uh, that's... Yeah, that's about the height that I want. <laughs> to get across there to the street. Now this sidewalk can go. Uh, that retaining wall can go because the area will be flat. So that can disappear. This deco wall can disappear. And so can that deco wall. Now to create an outdoor area for this. I want to create something that looks nice, but not too nice, if that makes sense. My issue with concrete blocks, I don't think settlers can walk on it. I, I don't think they have a nav mesh. Which is, a well, it's obviously a problem because they can't, they can't go anywhere with it. What do we have that can help us out here? Actually, you know what? We're going to keep it in keeping with the bit down there, like it's supposed to be here. Like we've repurposed the cell. So let's, um, let's stick with normal sidewalks like we did before. That'll then give us a level to work with as well. Uh, what I want to do is bring that out by... I want to bring this out by three lots. Okay. Now we'll clear the grass. That way we leave enough space to put some decorations here. And then under sidewalks, we're going to go to our classic uh, nice looking sidewalks here. And I think we can then snap to these. I will need to put down one classic small piece. Uh, we're going to have to do the large trick here. Like that. That's it. Right, so that's not quite in line, so we're going to draw this back by enough to make it in line. And then hopefully this path can continue to snap. Actually, this, um, this change might actually be really good for this guy. He'll actually have a bigger living space. So you know what, I'm actually in favour of this. I'm in favour of replacing this with just either a stand window or just a wall and decorating it. Now let's remove that because we have already have a height here. OK, 
Okay, and if I was to put a retaining wall in here... How high would this come up to is the big question. So let's just... Yeah, let's just put a retaining wall here and see what that looks like. Uh, we do have the short ones. Okay. Ooh. That is so close to fitting. So close, but no cigar, I think. Okay, I think this needs to come back by... Let's say 30 units. Just 30 units should make all the difference. Let me just remove these because they're going to get in the way. Uh, that's the wrong piece. That's the short piece I need. Yeah, it comes right up to this wall, but no further. Oop. Nope, not that. That needs to be another five. Uh, another five. Yeah, that's gone now. Now we put one of those over here. Actually, we can put a corner here. Oh, that is so close to what I need here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to put a short piece. Otherwise, that's not going to line up properly. But what I can do is put the short piece overlapping like that. Then stick the corner in. Like so. Yeah, I think that looks good. Now we'll put some stairs in because why wouldn't I? Uh, that's it. Ten units. Uh, that needs to be slightly better lined up. Like that. Okay, these walls need to come down by one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Then this needs to come up by just a touch like that. So that it joins up with the path. Uh, this one, I believe, is good enough to put some railings in. Yes, yeah, so you step down straight in front of the mayor's office. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, this can now disappear, and so can that. That's no longer required. Okay, I'm kind of confused why none of this is snapping to the path blocks anymore. Okay, that'll do. Oh, I do apologise if my voice sounds a bit off today. Got some... Uh, like a sniffly nose. Not sure why. Da, da, da. Uh, 
yeah, I am doing this. Uh, it will be changed shortly. Plus a lot of this will get rid of that crappy debris that's on the side of the, the buildings. So let's let's pull this away. Yeah, we'll give the uh, we'll give the guy in the hotel a little bit more a little bit more space here. Oh, wrong grass. So I did put the right grass over here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, yeah, that is slightly down, but that doesn't matter. And I'll show you why in a in a moment. Uh, there we go. Brilliant grass mounds. Uh, we'll cover the edge of that with this. That's why it doesn't matter too much. Because the grass mounds will cover it. We'll cover any imperfections we have. Which is quite common with these grass blocks, let's be honest. the curve a little bit forwards now we can get rid of this silly piece of concrete and that leaves a nice smooth transition here nice and smooth uh, we'll put in one more bit of grass just to conceal this great Okay, now the reason I have this is because we're actually going to move some of this stuff. Having three shops in the same place is not not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, I think this side of the building will be a clinic and this side will probably stock your weapons. Something like that. But we're going to tidy it this up place up first. So we're going to remove this. We'll go back to the shell kit, uh, which is here. Okay, clean. No, I don't want clean plaster. Uh, is there anything in the commercial kit which looks fine? No, these are all windows, which will, which will obviously show up. Okay, so we just have to go with the classic shell kit. We'll just have to go with the bog standard walls. Shared wall parts. Like that. But that doesn't matter too much, as I say. Because this gentleman means he's just going to get you know, somewhere else that he can that he can live. It's going to have a bigger living space. Because his bed is back behind that hotel counter. Excellent. Um, I 
I almost feel like there should be a big arch over this because this looks really nice now. I mean, no doubt, I think there should be some railings across here. Actually, we've got raw iron by the by that graveyard. Let's just see how this looks. Uh, when in doubt, just double up on the columns. <laughs> so, you know what? I actually quite like that. Gives it a little bit more security. Now, here's here's a thing, right? It's you can see on the right hand side of my screen, it's selecting the spotlight on top of the bus. I don't understand why. This only happens with the spotlights. Oh, that's happening with the missile turrets too. Well damn. I stand corrected. And it's only when I look up. I don't understand why there's such a big desync there. I'm not going to question it. I mean, what I'm doing to this is probably nothing to do with what the game was designed to handle. So I can't be too hard on it. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to do the same thing on this side. We'll create a green space and a little bit of commerce. Oh, no. That's the one I want. Can't say I've tripled up on columns before, but that works. Yes, we now have another garden. A much smaller garden, but a garden nonetheless. Um, yeah, because this is going to be the militarised area in that this is where the soldiers for this side of the encampment are going to be watching. They're going to be guarding that side. I think this could look a lot more appealing, this, uh, this building. I mean, that is, that is sort of next on the agenda. Uh, let me just have a look under CVC here. No, that's an awning roof. No, warehouse canopies. Wow, those are massive. Absolutely massive. Swan canopies. Do you know what? They don't actually look that bad. Though I didn't have that balcony there, I'd actually use these. Patchwork metal. Lean tos. Now, 
Now these shacks don't really fit in with uh, they don't really fit in with Jamaica Plain because well, Jamaica Plain is here to look really fancy. This is supposed to be one of the Commonwealth's uh, crowning jewels, as it were. I'm going to move the Trade Emporium and the weapons over here, though. So let's um, let's lay down the groundwork for that. So I believe under sidewalks, flats. That's it. Uh, we'll do very similar to what we've done on this side. Uh, I think this is going to have to be put into place uh, by myself because it's not actually on a snapping point. This is one of those times that doing it manually is my own fault. So <laughs> I can't really fault the game for this one. That's it. Oh, in case you didn't notice, guys, I have done a little bit of work off camera. The settlement is now official. In historic Hyde Square, member of the Minuteman Settlement Network. I think Hyde Square is supposed to be this little piece here. Uh, I'm calling this Hyde Square. <laughs> I'm definitely calling this piece of uh, Jamaica Plain Hyde Square. Like, without a doubt. Okay, uh, we're going to use one more standard piece of flat here. One more standard piece just here. And one standard piece here. Oh. I think that's thunder. We have a nice thunderstorm on the way. Okay. Weapons Emporium. I am actually going to move this over here. Oh wait, it's pitch black at night. And yet I can see everything because of the amount of light I've got. That's one thing I can't get over is just how shiny all the Minuteman uniforms become in the rain. It's probably a texturing bug, but... It does make everyone look like they're made of pure silver <laughs> till the rain goes away. Okay, so we've got our weapons emporium here. I think that's enough space there. And we're going to put the general store over here. This is going to be a manual placement, I guess. So all this commerce has moved outside. Now don't worry, I am going to look after these guys. I'm just going to leave them out in the pouring rain. Does the general store have a counterpiece? Yes, it does. I do think it's the do-it-yourself counters which are supposed to uh, snap better, but I'm not too worried about doing that. Okay, so under stores, uh, the General Trader Deco, there's a lot of extra pieces now that come with it, which seriously, seriously helps me with decorating. All these boxes with tools in them, toy boxes, training carts, like this stuff is an absolute godsend. Uh, some of it doesn't snap to the wall, uh, or it does, but it's really difficult. But that just, you know, just adds some really nice touch to it. Right. Oh yeah, because you put the trade mat here, wouldn't you? In some ways, I'm actually tempted to replace that with this, but 
I'm not going to. A shelf uh, back here with some extra kit on it is not out of place. Uh, general traders sell a lot of junk, so putting a lot of this back here is commonplace, I'd say. Yes, I'm, I'm aware they don't snap, so that's uh, something I am acutely aware of, don't you worry. Flower basket for the decorations. Uh, that's got some crap alongside it. Lovely. Uh, boxes of tut. There would be some. Uh, bear, bear with me a second, guys. I'm probably about to sneeze. There we go, guys. Sorry about that. So I just sneezed and my head now feels about £10 lighter than it was a couple of seconds ago. So... <laughs> That's a, that's a bonus. Right. Oops. That wasn't worth it. Smoking set. Well, they are a general trader. They would sell that kind of stuff. Nice general paraphernalia there. A couple of plastic bins on the ground. I'm going to put some uh, the dispenser stuff over here. Now I found out from the last time that my BOC dispenser that I was looking for so badly was in here. That's it, OC dispenser. Now, I've got a lot of junk guns. I'm actually going to put some guns down on the top of this counter here. So yeah, we've got all our Minuteman guns here, and then we've got a whole bunch of extra stuff here. Now I'm keeping the assault rifles, because I can convert those into uh, AK-47s. Blood sports back, wow. Uh, da -da -da -da. Deliverers are probably not very good. Uh, we'll put a couple of Desert Eagles on the counter. Uh, they're used by our officers, but I don't have enough officers to put... 25 Desert Eagles down. I would put a fat man there, but I know settlers would pick that shit up and start fucking up everyone's shit. So I'm not putting down fat man. Uh, combat sniper rifles, they would change back. That's a really nice gun, that is. Uh, we can put down a couple of Lee Enfields, maybe uh, a 1911. Fuck, there we go. Uh, I'm actually trying to think of the little changes I did off camera, because I know I did a few. Uh, I tried to furnish a couple of the houses over there, just off camera as well. I didn't really do too much. Right, so in here, let's put down, let's put down a couple of these Desert Eagles. I will put down the 1911s uh, and the Lee Enfields. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I know there's going to be a weapons merchant, basically, uh, right next to them, but... Uh, they're a general store. I mean, some people would sell their crap to a general store. Oops, a daisy. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure why I can't rotate it the way I'm looking at. But then again, he probably wouldn't put it on a counter like that. Uh, we'll put that down right here. Gonna have to be put down very carefully manually. That is, I don't think that's angled far enough like physics wise that's it yeah, so we got one Lee Enfield propped up there uh, we're going to put one laying flat Trying to be careful that I don't angle it enough to ruin it. Uh, that's going to have to clear the box behind it. Like that. Uh, it needs to come up a few notches. Like that. That's two Lee Enfields. Uh, 1911. Where's it? Yeah, no doubt he would keep a 1911. I mean, again, he is a general trader, so it would be beyond the realms of possibility. Excellent. Uh, deagles. I mean, to be fair, he might even keep a deagle behind the counter. <laughs> just in case he gets one of those customers that just want to fuck with the wrong person, right? And that's it. You know, you want to take this guy for a ride, he'll blow your fucking head off. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Cool. Now, all I need to do, really, is put a shelter over this. A shelter of some kind. So, I don't want snap and build, I want snap he builds. And CVC. Seeing if there's any um, other kinds of stuff I could put here. Trope there wouldn't be a pallet, you know, lined up. Wooden pallets. Plus, that then gives uh, a reason for there to be a little bit of crap in the corner here. Modular forts, no thanks. Now these are all uh, all fences. Don't particularly need those. Yeah, I mean I could put this canopy down, but it would only cover the stock and nothing else. And the warehouse canopy is also too small to just cover his stock and not him. I mean, these scaffoldings are just well, way too big. I'm sure you can uh, 
I'm sure you can imagine why I'm not going to be using those. I could do what I did over there, which is... I think it was the warehouse set I used. Yeah, post and warehouse roofs. That's what it was. Uh, which was, I believe, homemaker. Warehouses. Yeah, warehouse roof. Oh, we're going to have this issue. I'll I tell you what, let's just put these goddamn turrets away. See, so now, that spotlight that I had earlier, I cannot now find it anyway. Got an armor rack now. I don't know what that's pointing to. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, the sinking on this is really screwed up. Uh... Yeah, so I'm going to move that back so that it doesn't encroach on this here. Uh, I have a feeling the, uh, <laughs> the poor weapon salesman is not going to be as... Uh, as well off as his friend over here. Okay, and I think under uh, normal structures, we do actually have a warehouse set. And I think, yeah, posts are in there. Is there posts in the wall set, or am I just making that shit up? No, I think I'm just making that up. Uh, let's just, just use these metal posts here. Okay, this is uh, this is going to be a bit more annoying than I expected because it won't snap to anything to do with the roof. Okay, we're going to do it manually. We will do it manually. Oh, yeah. Z-axis, of course. <laughs> Helps if I can put the post in straight, right? Okay. Let's put the metal post in like that. Bring it down in line and then push it just gently into the woodwork. Okay, this is going to get annoying. Stick with the Z axis, please. That's it. So gently slot that into the wood like that. Uh, it needs to be a touch out of that so it's not showing through. Excellent. This one we'll bring down and then into wood. Uh, we'll turn it so that the groove is facing outwards. Uh, we need to move that in just a touch. Then up. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we have a kind of warehouse lean to roof here, which is inside the counter, which is a touch annoying because that's. Oh, the roof is not lined up properly, that's why. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so if you're under here now, 
you're going to be out of the rain while you're selling your wares. Which is what we want, really. Uh, the weapons guy over here, well, I'm not too sure about this guy. <laughs> Might just have to lump it. I mean, not every settlement's perfect, right? Not everything is perfect. So, CBC uh, stores decorations. Uh. Oh, faction figures. I wonder what that was for a second. I do like the way that in this kit there is no Minuteman figure, though. I'm quite annoyed about that. <laughs> quite fucking annoyed about that. But yeah, uh, resources, no, stores. Uh, general traders. Guns and ammo, deco. Okay, so this guy is all about his guns. Plenty of ammo. Ammo. Yeah. That's not rear table, that's a safe, but fair enough. Yeah, getting rockets here. Uh, shelves full of ammo, of course. Fat man crate. This guy is not going to be selling mini nukes, I can tell you that for nothing. <laughs> a mini nuke on that, no. No, we're not touching that. Yeah, these uh, these are quite reasonable. Uh, a weapons workbench. Yes. The reason I say that uh, is because this is a prop. Uh, it's not actually something I can use. But it would be a... Oh, God, I put down two. Um... It'll be a good way to separate the two, the two shops. Okay, this is a pain in the ass to select. I'm telling you. Yeah, so he makes his goods here, and he is separated from his trader buddy with this trading. Uh, this. Uh, workbench. Yeah, so he can sort out his guns, make his weapons, all that kind of stuff here. Which is really good to see. Uh, a guns board. Underneath the balcony, yep. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Uh, we've already got one of those. Uh, that's more... Oh, well, he's got Fat Man. He's not selling Fat Man. <laughs> Again, he is not selling a Fat Man. Uh, something military supply? I don't know. That just doesn't look like it fits. That's fine, though. And he will have... A good selection of ammunition. I mean, his weapons and ammo are going to stay dry. They're underneath this balcony, so I've got no problems with that. It's just him who's going to have to suffer. Which, again, I can also live with that. <laughs> And he's going to be making good money. He's selling weapons, for frick's sake. So, Plus, he needs the shelter because he's likely to have more uh, destructible goods and perishables. Like, you know, boxes and you know stuff that water doesn't mix with. This guy's got guns. Guns are designed to function in the rain, okay? This guy can, uh, this guy can lump it. Right. Desert Eagles. No, nope, don't scrap. Okay, so... Uh, 
That's it. The deagle. Uh, what other weapons did we have? Well, we've got the deagles, of course. Let's go get some other weapons. Uh, this stand is going to have a Minuteman defending it, of course. Especially during the night. You don't want someone stealing weapons in the middle of the night. Uh, is it the metal box here that has a lot of my guns? Yes, it is. Uh, that is for a subscriber's uh, subscribers uh, Minuteman. It's part of their lore. So yeah, if you've got ideas for Minuteman names and you want some lore attached to them, please give me your ideas. I'll be sure to implement them as best I can. P99. They would have a P99. Uh, heavy shotgun. Of course they'll have a shotgun. Uh, those diplomat pistols have stopped spawning now, so <laughs> I think I've exhausted that. Uh, that one has not been made into a Minuteman edition yet, so I'll use that. A service rifle is not a bad, a bad shout. A short version of the FAMAS. What I'm trying to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is set up a lot of weapons which are too weak for the settlers to steal when there's an attack, but powerful enough to look good on the shelf, as it were. I mean, some of these look good, but I know quite a few get randomised when you stick them through the through the OC dispenser. If uh, something happens here, I'll show you an example. Oh yeah, we do have house cats. Mew. So yeah, back to our market street, which I think is starting to look better and better. I think this adds a lot more personality to the middle of Jamaica Plain. It really does. Plus, if you're in the hotel, you can look straight out over Market Street. <laughs> so, this is cool. If you're stood up there, you can see right down to the Market Street there. And into the Market Street here. So, you're in a really good spot if you, if you live up in that hotel for a while. Right, uh, that's what we were doing. I completely forgot for a second. That's what I get for too much yapping. Right, so I'm going to put an M60 through. See, it comes out completely different to how it went in. Uh, I think that looks pretty good, actually. And the way that is as, as it stands, I think would be a perfect addition for here. Uh, what I want to do is just angle it so that it rests at an angle on the top of the counter. Like that. There you go. So it's on display. Because it looks dumb if it's stood up. Right, so we got an M60 on the counter. Uh, the anti-material rifle. Uh, that one hasn't changed, which is great. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so that was my news uh, app. Uh, I'm obviously following the terrible events in uh, a certain European country at the moment. Uh, if you haven't been living under a rock, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this isn't a politics channel, though, so I'm not going to mention anything about that. But yeah, uh, very worrying. Very, very worrying. Okay. So let's put... Uh, anti-material rifle down. So maybe that's something he's been uh, maintaining or, you know, constructing. Ready for sale at some point. Uh, that's not too powerful for other people to take yet. I think they will prefer their settlers uh, AK-47s as opposed to that. A uh, Giate for mass will come out normal. The service rifle will be completely randomised, so I don't know what that's going to do. 
The shotgun will be random. Uh, that will be as it stands. And that will be as it stands. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty decent actually. So let's uh, let's prop this up under the the ammo shelf. Oop. Nope. Nope. That's it. The that's a short a short L shotgun there. Giat Famas, say the short version of that. I mean, you could technically call this like a civilian version of the uh, Famas. Uh, a far cry off what the uh, the Minuteman carry. So uh, we'll stock one of those up too. Uh, the P99. That wouldn't look out of place on the initial sales counter. Uh, okay. That's it. And of course the Webley Fosbury pistol here. Uh, he could be maintaining this one or fixing it before he puts it on sale so having one on the workbench is a good shout excellent uh, i will fill these um counters and all that in and add a little bit more character to it at some point but i think this looks pretty lived in as it stands let me just sleep for a few hours to see if the guys will go and man their counts. <coughs> Excuse me. Three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, yeah, so they both man it. They're both in the perfect position to do it. Oh, that looks good. Uh, I will give them different outfits. This is just what they were literally attired in. Okay, and now we can sort out the clinic. All of this space can now be clinic space. Excuse me. So sorry, I don't know why I feel so tired today. Uh, that we can actually implement into into the center, so that's fine. Right, so all of this back here is going to be the clinic. Now I remember one of my viewers uh, really suggested a clinic. I didn't know how I was going to do it until now. Right. So this is going to be the clinic, i.e. the working area, where the doctors, nurses, or whoever I put in here is going to be treating patients. Uh, I want it to look fairly sanitary, so... I reckon these tiles give a good sanitary look. That's it. And of course, it needs uh, decent flooring. Oh, I think, this, yeah, this is default flooring, so I don't think it snaps properly to default flooring. Concrete building floor. 
Okay, if I delete this and then put a piece of normal floor in using, let's say, the shell kit. I think now I could get away with putting carpets and flooring down. Yeah, because this will now snap. Yeah, there we go. I can get away with that now. Wow, that snap area is tiny. Uh, let me do a half floor here. Otherwise, it's going to show up on the other side and look really, really daft. Cool. Uh, this is the waiting area. So I think this squares carpet will look pretty good for that. Yes, that looks a bit more clinical. Um, I genuinely don't think there's actually a wallpaper for this though, because this is a double-sized wall. I don't think there's one for this, but let's take a look. House kit. Oh, there nearly is. Very nearly. Nah. Uh, shell. Interior. That's three windows. That's a doorway. That's a column. Corner windows. That's not going to work. Yeah. Okay, no. DLC? No. No. There's no tile that will cover that, unfortunately. Unless I change these windows out, which I'm not too keen on doing. But what I am keen on doing, though, is covering these windows. Because uh, I don't really think you want to be oogled at while you're getting uh, you know, surgery done or something. So I think the Venetians will work great in here. Uh, okay, we can turn off surface snapping to do this. getting these lined up it's going to be the bitch of all of these so that's a hundred and twenty yeah that looks good Bear with me, guys. That is my doorbell. There we go. Sorry about that. Right. So the windows are closed up. It was lovely. Uh, the surgery centre is on. I think we need to set up a waiting room. Actually, why am I doing this? I haven't even finished putting the wallpaper on yet. 
Uh, so over to wallpaper. Okay, this since this is the waiting room, this will actually have nice inviting looking wallpaper. Nope, not tiles. <laughs> tiles don't look very inviting. To be fair, there's not really many inviting wallpapers in, uh, in this set. I mean, you've got these bright ones, but that still looks cracked and a little bit dull. Just want something nice and neutral, I guess. Oh, there's really not much in this pack, is there, that's neutral, anyway. I mean, that that's like a vault wall. That's, uh, that's not very good. I reckon this wood panelling is probably the best we're going to get, so let's do that. Okay, doorways. Uh, we want wood panelling on the doorways. Uh, that's the wood panel. Excellent. Uh, we still have this half wall here. Uh, shared interiors, wallpapers, half. Uh, where is that? There we go, that's tiles I'm looking for. Excellent. So this place looks a tad more inviting now. Of course, the clinic is manned. Let's just uh, tuck this as far over as we can, like that. Now, under CVC uh, Medical Clinic, under the, the uh, decorations, we do have a lot of cool stuff, like these gurneys. The IV stands, you know, things to use from transplants, medical stuff. Like, there's a lot of equipment here that we could actually take advantage of. Now, this is one of them. So, this is like one of the, the well, the surgery bed, I suppose. There's not very many people in the settlement at once, so. Having one surgery bed is fine. Uh, we'd probably have a gurney uh, back here. I know there's one with a synth on it, but we don't tend to take synths in. We just kill them, so <laughs> there is always that. This... Um, this is actually going to get in the way. I think that was supposed to be lower in the first place, actually. That's fine. Uh, there is a bit of grass sticking through, but I'm not worried about that. Should be fine now. Yeah, that's fine now. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't completely messing with the terrain by doing this. Uh, I mean, there'd be an IV bag by this gurney. Medical shelves, well, they're going to be selling their supplies. 
to every Dakari and Tom. There'll be a few here. Yeah. Uh, chem benches. There'll be someone working at this. Does create some jobs. A medical cart. I uh, don't really think there's a wheelchair here. I mean, this <laughs> post-apocalyptic world, I wouldn't say is quite uh, wheelchair friendly. So <laughs> that would make perfect sense why we wouldn't have that kind of stuff here. Uh, having uh, shelves with medical stuff on them is a good sign. Uh, this is more like laboratory equipment. Which wouldn't be out of place probably over this side. I do quite like that. But what we're going to do instead as well. Uh, and... Uh, Homemaker, uh, internal decorations, we do have those curtains like these and what I'm going to do is place them just between these beds here to create a partition. These are probably not going to be straight at the end of the day. There we go. I mean, last thing you want is people to be looking at you while you're having your bloody heart transplanted. <laughs> this medical cart can probably move to the end of the bed here. And of course, these curtains, like in the real world, would curve round. So you just pull the curtain round to give yourself a corner of privacy while you do what you have to do. So you got your your surgery centre here. Got all your stuff there. Uh, I'm thinking as well under the shots. I think it's under the clinic. You've got that that facial reconstruction surgery. Am I just like completely missing that? Or is that under like crafting or something? Uh, weaponsmiths. No. Uh, it's got to be under here somewhere. I've I'm sure I've seen it. Uh, I I will find it. I know it's in here. Oh, hello. You've made your way in then. The doctor is in. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to give the doctor a name for this for this place. Uh, I do like it. This looks quite lived in. This looks like a surgery that you know you'd actually come in and actually properly get seen to. If I was in a post-apocalyptic world and I walked into here to try and get some assistance, I would be happy with this. Let's uh, let's put down some furniture here. Uh, 
As much as I hate to say it, these institute couches look perfect for a doctor's waiting room. So you know what, let's put these down. Uh, the end tables would be fine. Uh, we do have a few nice little ones like this. Let's separate those. And of course we do need some floor coverings, which would be under decorations. That's it. Now under OC decorator as well, uh, there are things like magazines. I think that might actually be under office. Yeah, books and news. Yeah, so you got these uh, comics and all that kind of stuff. And let's face it, a doctor's surgery normally has lots and lots of these for you to uh, sit and read if you want to. So we're going to scatter some of these in. Uh, this is a strictly no smoking room, <laughs> so... Uh, good luck trying to spark up your cigarette in here, because uh, you will be told to leave. Structures. Couches. Yep, so you got that to look forward to as you come in. Now this needs some um, better lighting. Well, in here is quite obvious. Uh, I'll put that in there, but the light hangs too low. That's a little bit more like it, but that doesn't really have the effect I'm looking for. That's more the effect I'm looking for. Bright lights, so you can see what the hell is going on. Or these big fluorescent ones. Yeah. Nice big fluorescent light. Nice one. Uh, now if we've got any standing lights that I can use. Some decent standing lights, that is. Because, I mean, I can put down these things. Like I say, that one doesn't even stand up, I seem to recall. Yeah, I mean, th these ones are good for the waiting area and uh, the front counter. Yeah, uh, wall lights. These emergency lights give off a surprising amount of light for what they are. So uh, that's always a bonus. But I quite like that. We have a nice little effect. Uh, I will put some more decoration in as we go. But to get us started, I don't think this is a this is a bad start. We actually have a proper a proper like surgery centre. We've got a proper market street. We've got some more street vendors. We have a diner to go and enjoy yourself in. We have accommodation up top, which is probably what I'll work on next episode. This is uh, looking really good. I'll keep the dispenser here for now because undoubtedly I will use quite a bit more of that off camera. But for now, I think we've made a pretty good, uh, a pretty good dent in this. This road, I think I'm actually going to leave because with the exception of this part, this is in remarkably good shape. 
Uh, I will recruit a few more Minutemen off camera and get them stationed here in the market. Let me just send these down a little bit because they're, they're visible from street level. That's better. So yeah, I'm going to get some uh, extra stuff going off camera. I'll get some more Minutemen in to guard the market. Uh, that is going to be a Minuteman stronghold. That's going to be for... I'm maybe going to put like a very small jailhouse with like one or two in it. But that's going to be a potential armory for the Minutemen who, who are stationed here. So I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, this segment is taking shape. It's honestly not far from completion, I'll be honest. There's only probably three or four more houses to put up. Uh, probably about six or seven, actually, just given the population limit here. Um, the settlement's likely going to have between 80 and 100 settlers. Probably about 25 are going to be Minutemen. Because we've got a team of six up top, a major... He's probably going to have a bodyguard, seven. Two at the front door is nine. There's going to be a few nighttime guards in the may at the mayor's house uh, for when these two clock off. And so there's six who watch over that. 19. A couple of guards for here is about 19. Some guards for that and some guards for that. So yeah, it's going to be about 30 minute men. A detachment of 30. Special Forces made that about 35. So yeah, I'd say 35 in 100 settlers here a minute, men. I think that's quite reasonable for a settlement of this size. If we had a smaller area to work with, then yeah, I, I'd go with a smaller detachment. But because we have so much space to cover, having more soldiers is not a bad thing at all. In fact, if I left that open, we'd probably need about 50. <laughs> Because we'd have to cover all the eventualities over here. But since this is barricaded... Oh yeah. Just a small note. We have this uh, water silo. Which comes with... Uh, uh, comes with a CVC pack. Uh, it's actually piped into the rock face. Uh, I can't quite show you. Because I think it's actually buried in here somewhere. But I've put it in there as a kind of show that... The water is being taken from groundwater. So, I think that was a nice touch. It's kind of out of the way. In mean, the vault tech rep in there. Oh, yes. Yeah, so someone told me to barter with him because this stuff is unique. Uh, what have you got to trade today? So, look. Ooh, apocalypse left grieve. Nice. Oh, San Francisco sunlights. I haven't seen those in a while. Uh, I do actually need more stuff with nuclear material. Uh, alarm clocks do have nuclear material. I want those. Um, oh, I need that for decoration. Circuit tray. These shipments are good, but quite good value. Ceramic, I'm always running low on ceramic, so I can use that. That's good for armor. Tight right. Un undamaged cameras, yes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you know what? It does do some pretty cool stuff. You have no idea what it's been like. Scrounging around for two centuries with this ugly mug. Now, oh, be quiet. As one of my viewers also said, you've literally spent 210 years wearing the same fucking clothes. What is wrong with you? In 200 years, you can achieve so much. Like, I mean, I'm not even 30 years old, and even I'm like, oh my god, I could I could achieve like loads and loads of shit in my life. If I knew I was going to live for more than two centuries, I'd be a lot more relaxed. <laughs> oh, shit. No time like the present. Uh, that is why you, uh, you don't shit talk the vault tech rep, I guess.
And that was pretty much a clean sweep. <laughs> and that is why those luck perks are pretty incredible. Every person you tag after enemy four is an automatic crit regardless. So, oh, haven't seen an N99 for a while. I'm going to take a few of those. Fats enhanced fucking rolling pin. Okay. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't mind taking those. Ooh, deliverer. Bottle caps, nuka grenades. Ooh. What kind of helmet are you rocking? Oh, I think that's the helmet I'm looking for. I'll take that. Uh, any of you wearing a flight helmet? No, gas, gas mask. No, nah, road leathers. Death's head, no. I'm going to take these just because I can get effect chips out of them for putting legendaries on Minuteman guns. Flawless anti sea helmet. No, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Nope. Nope, that is a leather helmet. Don't need that. Uh, gas mask and helmet. Don't need that either. You're just wearing standard dreadnought crap. Nice one. Cram loot fruit. Nice one. Cool. That's everybody looted. <laughs> so yeah, that is why you don't talk shit about Malt Tech right <laughs> Because uh, he he will uh, he will summon in a swarm of raiders to attack you. He knows. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, thank you very much. If you've lasted this long into the video, uh, I love you very much. Uh, if you haven't and you clicked away, not that you're listening to this, then I also appreciate you. Uh, you know, every bit of support helps me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you've got names for. Uh, Minutemen, please drop them in the comments. I will eventually get round to them as we recruit some more. Uh, and I will I will add as much lore to whatever characters uh, you want, as long as they sort of fit in with, you know, the, the general framework I've put in. I'm sure I can make a lot of it work. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Have a good one. I will see you in the next episode. Uh, I will also be doing some Rebuilding the Commonwealth live at some point. So keep an eye out for that. But uh, yeah, see you later. We out. Peace. Take care. Stay safe.